Hey there, I'm Aki and welcome back to another video. So, a lot of you probably have heard of Dolly before. It's an AI that creates images from any text prompt you give it. So you could, for example, tell it to create a stylized cat-dragon hybrid. And it would come up with something like this. As you can see, there's still, of course, a lot of things you can improve upon it. But this is only the light version, which is a heavily reduced version of the original. The original Doll E is insane, and they're actually working on a version 2 of it at the moment. I am on the waiting list for that one, but since that's probably not going to happen anytime soon, I thought I'd use the light version to see what it thinks Subnautica 3 could look like. <laughs> so I told it to just create Subnautica 3, and uh, th there were some interesting prompts. Now, fair warning, a lot of these look very familiar, but also completely weird. So, uh, you, you're probably not going to recognize much. As you can see, there's still a lot to improve with this heavily reduced version. I would love to use the advanced version or even the version 2.0, but I don't have access to that right now. I am on the waiting list for it, but I thought, might as well make use of this version while we have it. So, these concepts might not make too much sense, but there's definitely some interesting ideas, like an eye in a base piece? Okay, not all of them are good, but there are some cool ones that I want to show to you. So, yeah, let's go, but don't expect too much. We, for example, got this one, which really looks like a weird kind of base. Uh, or some sort of vehicle that we're inside. You can really see that the UI has been burnt into these images, but it's just somehow distorted in every single one. A lot of these also include some submarines, because I assume a lot of the training images had submarines in them, but they usually just look like original Subnautica biomes. For example, in this case, we can see the grassy plateaus in the background with some weird creatures and maybe some UI elements at bases or submarines. There's nothing really that interesting that we could really theorize about. At least until this one. Um, yeah, what is that? <laughs> um, to me that looks like some sort of like energy production thing in the front, but in the background we have a very interesting new creature. <laughs> this really feels like a fever dream, honestly. Like this is totally something I could see in some Subnautica nightmare I'm having in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, there, there, there's also uh, this one, which is like a really weird mix of an Oculus or Peepa and a Chelly from Below Zero. So uh, yeah, no thank you. And this one, we just had some fancy like effects, I think from the welder tool or something. So I thought I'd show that as well. But yeah, there's obviously not too much we can actually get out of these. So I thought, okay, maybe it's better at creating Leviathans, since we already saw that it can do creatures. And oh my god, yes it is, and they are terrifying. <laughs> Look at this. I, I don't know where this Leviathan starts or ends, but at first glance, it looks terrifying. There are so many weird, creepy creatures in this, it's insane. Uh, I, I look at this. This is like a weird lost river leviathan with massive tentacles. It looks like a Lovecraftian horror type of leviathan, and I love it. There's also this one that's about to eat you, and just some really weird creatures in general. I don't know how this one happened. This looks like it's multiple pictures in one, and they're all cut off. Kind of Loch Ness-like, but yeah, I, I can't really see much in this one. Then we have some dolphin creatures, and... More tentacles. Uh, yeah, Dolly really likes tentacles, in case you couldn't tell. I, I, I did not tell it to include tentacles in these, and it just did in almost every single one of these. And then there's this one. Um, no thank you, That that is actually a nightmare. I have literally had a nightmare about a massive creature with human teeth like this chasing me. Um, Dolly, please stop. No thank you. Th th more teeth! Why? No thank you. At, at, at least do like sharp stylized teeth, but these human-like teeth are terrifying. <laughs> oh my god. Now this one looks lo more like an actual concept for Subnautica, even though it's obviously a little strange. But I could totally see a creature similar to this one with a biome similar to this one being a concept. More teeth and weird manta creatures. And I'm sorry, this one is too funny. This is what you see whenever you pull out a pack of gum in school. 
<laughs> I love it. It looks so derpy. I want this in the game. Oh, yeah, uh, more tentacles, like I said. And now this one is actually really cool. It kind of looks like a non-ice version of the ice dragon. And I love it. Honestly, I I want it. I, I want more lizard-like creatures in Subnautica. This would be so cool to see. That would be amazing. Oh, yeah, um, I also told it to create a spider leviathan. And I'm, I'm not sure if it knows what spiders are, but... Uh, I mean, it got the legs right, I guess. There are a lot of terrifying ones in these. That might just be because I don't like spiders. But for some reason, the spider leviathans I told it to make are so much more terrifying than the regular ones. I mean, look at these. These are horrible. Oh, yeah, and then we also have this one. Um, for some reason, this one is the most terrifying of all of them to me. I don't know why, but I hate it. Maybe it's because, like, you can see it going into the fog in the background, or because of the weird purple thing in the front. But I feel like this thing is just gonna swallow you whole, and then you get munched up inside of it. It's no, blah, no thank you. And, well, uh, since that worked out pretty well, I thought, okay, why not ask it to make a spaceship for Sonorca, since those also exist. Yeah, I don't think it knows what spaceships are. It, it, it for some reason, puts some spaceship-looking things underwater. And also, it really likes the sea truck. Um, when I asked it to create submarines, it actually worked somewhat well for some of them, so here's like one of the best ones I've had so far. I could totally see a submarine like this in Subnautica. And of course, this one is also pretty cool. It looks like a modified version of a sea truck. But then the thing it's probably best at, biome concept art. So I asked it to create a void biome, and this is what it came up with. It's obviously not the void in Subnautica, but I think it actually created some really cool concept art for potential new biomes in Subnautica. These kind of remind me of like the lily pads or the twisty bridges even. So I think that's maybe where it got some inspiration from. It does look really cool though. And as you can see, it also includes some creatures and plants and it just, it has the feel of a real Subnautica biome concept. There's, there's also this one though, and for some reason, it reminds me of those massive hive mines, and it's terrifying. Imagine if we had something like this in Subnautica. You just swim up to this weird gooey thing everywhere across the walls, and then you realize it's one massive hive mind creature. Like, oh my god, no thank you. And uh, this is another void concept it came up with. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. But I, again, feel like this is a Lovecraftian kind of creature just lurking in the void. That purple eye is just terrifying. And, of course, a must-have, all the tentacles. <laughs> it's creepy that doll -E somehow manages to generate some actual good creature concepts and biome concepts, even though it is so heavily reduced from its actually good version. I've been thinking about actually letting Dolly generate some Leviathan concepts and getting artists to actually create them with a lot of detail. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. This is just basically a video of me showcasing some cool Dolly generations I got. You can also try and get some. I have linked the model in the description down below where you can tell her to create some Subnautica concept art. I'm also live on Twitch twice a week, so come hang out. I would love to have you there. But yeah, that's already it again. I really hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you want to see that series where I let Dolly create basic concepts and pay artists to improve them. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!